This new multi-streaming plugin is a game changer. In today's video, I'll show you how to set it up and how you can actually use it. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you don't know, Atom just released a new multi-stream plugin. They actually made a vertical plugin that was used to stream on the vertical sites like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or whatever else. But now they made a multi-stream plugin where you can go live on multiple platforms at the same time, including the vertical ones. It's insane. So let me show you how to set it up and how it actually works. First thing you'll need to do is click on the link down in the description below. It will take you to their website. You just need to click on download multi-stream. It's a free plugin. You just run the installer. Next, next, next. That's it. You open up your OBS and then I'll show you how to actually use it and which settings you should change. This plugin is amazing because it's completely free and it actually works better than something like Restream or any other paid multi-stream plugins. So you'll need to open up your OBS. And once you do that, you will not see anything change. But all you'll have to do is go to Docs and then go to Atom Multi-Stream. It will open up this dock right here. You can dock it on the side or wherever else you want. We'll keep it on the left side. And then you'll see this right over here. So you'll have your main canvas and you'll have your vertical canvas. So the thing that we need to look into is the main canvas at the minute. So first thing we need to do is go to the actual settings of OBS itself and set up the main canvas, which is going to be either Twitch or YouTube or whatever else you really want. You go to settings over here, you go to stream, and then you'll have to go to service. And then, as I said, you can choose Twitch, YouTube, whatever else. You just connect your account and you set up the main canvas. Keep in mind that if you don't do that, you won't be able to set up any other a platform to go multi-stream at all. So set this up right here, enable this. For the best streaming settings, you can watch this video right over here. I have a video on the best streaming settings. And then once you do that, you'll have to go into the cog wheel and then add more platforms. So you click on the cog wheel, you go into the general, and then here you can add a main output or a vertical output. If you want to add a main output, that's a horizontal stream, something like YouTube, Facebook, Kick, or wherever else you really stream. If you want to go to a vertical output, that's TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever else. So we click on main output, and then we click on add output on the top right. Here you can choose, like I said, uh, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever else. We'll choose YouTube, and then you just put the YouTube stream key over here. Keep in mind, they have this cool thing where you can just click on the creator dashboard, and then it takes you to the location where the stream key is. You just paste it in, and it is set up. I'll just put like one, two, threes for now, create output, and now I have my YouTube output. If I click on OK, it will show up in top left. So now you have two uh, multi-streams set up or two platforms set up. If you wanna add more, you do the same thing. You go add output and you just add more platforms and you're chilling. If you want to add a vertical output, you'll need to go to vertical canvas. Keep in mind that you will need a Atom vertical plugin, which is also available on their website to be able to uh, add vertical canvas. So if you don't have that set up, make sure to download the plugin, install it, and then you'll be able to add vertical outputs right over here. So same thing for this. You go to add output, you choose TikTok, or you can choose YouTube here, and then it's just like a YouTube shorts. So you can go to YouTube, uh, same thing, primary output, everything else, put the stream key, but make sure to put the YouTube short stream key. You need to set up like a separate YouTube uh, stream in their dashboard. It's much more complicated than like something like Twitch or Kick. So keep that in mind. But once you do it, I'll just like, again, put one, two, three, create output and then click on OK. And now I have the normal YouTube and I have my YouTube shorts output right over here. So now if I want to stream, I just click on this green button and it will go live on that platform. Keep in mind that you will need to choose the built-in stream platform first. You need to click on this button and then the second button. If you click on the second button, it will say enable to start output. You, you know, you just cannot go live right now because it uses the same settings like the first one. So you need to go for the first one and then the second one to go live. Uh, these will use the same amount of resources because it uses the same settings from the first platform to the second. If you want to change that and you want to, you know, stream in 4K on YouTube, but you want to stream in 720p on Twitch, you just, like I said, set up your main settings on your OBS as 720p, and then you go into your main canvas, you go to YouTube, and then you click on the advanced settings right over here, 
And then here, you will need to change the main encoder. Keep in mind, the main encoder is your main OBS settings. So 720p, let's say. Now, if you want to stream on uh, 4K, you just choose whatever encoder you want. For example, AV1. And then you choose 60 FPS. And here, you change the rescale to 4K, all the settings. Keep in mind, like I said, I have another video on the best streaming settings. So if you change these, you will be streaming, for example, 4K on YouTube and then 720p on Twitch, but it will use more resources on your PC and more internet connection. So keep in mind that you will need to have a better PC and better internet. If you want to just stream 720p on everything, you will use no extra resources on your PC at all because it will be the same stream just being sent to different places without using any extra resources, which is amazing. And that's basically it. You just need to go live on the base platform and then choose all the other platforms after that and it will work perfectly. If you have any questions or anything else, please let me know down in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And also, if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.